Welcome to Trivia Viral. Our channel covers all the latest analysis and recaps on TV shows and movies as well as interesting stories and facts that you may not have known. So sit back, relax, and subscribe to our channel if you have been enjoying our videos so far. The movie starts in a nightclub where three friends are getting drunk. They see a young blonde woman who appears drunk and unable to get up, while two of them make misogynistic comments toward her. The nice guy comes to her and tries to get her home, so the nice man takes her back to his apartment, where he starts to kiss her. When the blonde says that she needs to lie down, he puts her on the bed and then starts trying to undress her. The blonde drops out the drunk act and sits upright. She looks at him directly in the eyes to ask what he is doing. He appears terrified. That blonde walks home the next morning. A trio of construction workers then start tat-calling her, but she stares at them blankly until they get weirded out. We learn she dropped out of medical school. She lives with her parents and works at a coffee shop in the city. Seven years earlier, her male classmate assaulted her best friend and fellow student in an intimate way. No one at the school investigated, and there were no consequences from the legal system, which caused the best friend to take her own life. This blonde now spends her nights faking being drunk in clubs and bars. Sleazy men take her to their homes and try to take advantage, where she then reveals her soberness to freak them out. She bumps into another ex-med school classmate who works as a pediatrician. He asks her out on a date. She gives him a fake phone number. He returns to the coffee shop, realizing that the phone number is fake. She finally relents and decides to go out with him. While initially hesitant, they get closer soon enough. He says the classmate who harmed her best friend is about to get married. She plans to get revenge on the perp and everyone responsible for him getting away with the crime. She soon meets a female former classmate, who refuses to admit the crime was done to her best friend. The blonde gets her drunk and hires a man to take her to a hotel room. Not remembering what happened, she leaves several frantic voicemails for the blonde, but she does not answer them. Next, the blonde goes to the school dean, who dismissed the case by claiming there wasn't enough evidence. She convinces the daughter of the dead to get in her car, pretending to be a makeup artist for a popular band. She meets the dean and the guys are returning to her education and questions her about the case. When the dean makes excuses for herself, she tells the dean that she dropped the daughter off in a room with drunken male students. The frying dean apologizes to her inaction, and the blonde reveals the teenager is safe at a diner. She cancels her appointment with the pediatrician and lures a man to take her home. While waking out of the bar, they run into the pediatrician. Misunderstanding the situation, he feels betrayed. The blonde visits the lawyer of the perpetrator who harassed her best friend into dropping the charges. The lawyer is remorseful on temporary leave from his job after he experienced a nervous breakdown. She forgives him. After that, she visits her best friend's mother. The mother thinks the blonde's obsession with her best friend's old case is unhealthy and that she should move on. She decides to spend time with the pediatrician and take a break from her revenge. They soon fall in love. The female ex-classmate approaches the blonde outside her house, desperate to find out what happened after their lunch. She assures the woman that nothing has happened. The man only took her to bed and did not touch her in any other way. The woman gives her an old phone with a video of her best friend being assaulted. She warns her that she should not contact her again. The blonde is shocked to see the pediatrician as a bystander in the video. Then the blonde confronts him and threatens to release the video to everyone, even to his patients, unless he tells her where the perpetrator's bachelor party is being held. He reveals what he knows and tries to defend his complicity which disappoints the blonde because he refuses to apologize. They part in anger, so she shows up at the bachelor party posing as a stripper. She knocks out the other friends by putting something in their drinks. Then she takes the perpetrator upstairs. She cuffs him to his bed and eventually tells him who she is. He panics and makes up excuses because he knows there is video evidence proving what he did. As she prepares to carve her best friend's name onto the guy's abdomen, the guy breaks free and smothers her with a pillow. He shouts to her that she should stop moving. And then, when he realizes that she has passed, he sits down next to her body, overcome with fear and emotions. In the morning, his best friend helps him burn the blonde's body. Then her parents file a missing persons report, and the police begin to investigate. Because the pediatrician knows that the blonde has video evidence that shows his complicity in the crime, he tells them that the blonde was mentally disturbed, not mentioning that she was going to the bachelor party. At the perpetrator's wedding, the pediatrician receives several scheduled text messages from the blonde. The lawyer is shown receiving a package from her with a phone inside. It contains the video of the best friend being assaulted and instructions on what to do if she does not return from the bachelor party. The blonde's co-worker finds a half heart-shaped necklace under the cash register with her name. The blonde was wearing the other half of the necklace when she passed. This half engraved with her best friend's name. The police find the necklace and her burn remains. They arrest the perpetrator. The pediatrician receives the final text from the blonde, 
signed with the names of her and her best friend. What are your thoughts about the story? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe if you would like to see more similar videos, and give us a thumbs up to get more recommendations of our videos. Be the first to watch the latest videos by clicking the bell icon. See you on the next video.